Welcome to this BEC podcast. My name is Rasmus Beck, and today I have a visit from two of the biggest talents we have currently in Europe, Delphine Delru and Tom Kikel from France. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Watching you two guys during 2019 has been a, a roller coaster trip. I would say some very good results, some quite poor performances, and no offense, but I think we can agree on that. Uh, but Tom, how has it been to be you and Delphine in, in 2019 in total? Uh, yeah, it was a fast uh, year. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't expect to have a result like this, and we go uh, very high on the ranking, uh, in very short, uh, very short uh, time. So it was fast, and uh, we are not uh, maybe ready of that. Mm -hmm. But now uh, we're used to it, and uh, we want to to stay at this ranking and uh, and uh, improve uh, very <coughs> fast. Mm. Delphine, one thing I will for sure remember in 2019 for you guys, that's the European Games. Uh, you won that medal. Mm. Uh, I don't think that a lot of people expected it. Of course, you guys hoped for it. Mm. How was it, European Games in Mexico? Um We didn't uh, expect this medal because uh, uh, of the beginning of the year, we, we were not supposed to play because Roland and Audrey were uh, in front of us in the placement, in the mm. ranking, so mm. um, it was a really good opportunity for us to play, and uh, we played uh, really good and uh, won the medal. So it was our first uh, medal of uh, in the uh, European game, so it was really really nice. Mm. Tom, how did it feel to be on the podium that that day? Uh, it was uh, very well. We were very proud, I think. Uh, it's not like a uh, European uh, championship, like it was uh, for the friends because there is a uh, other sports, so we were very proud. Mm -hmm. There is not uh, only a badminton player in the uh, in the world, so yeah, it was something. Did you feel any support from from home, back in France, and and from the Danish team? The uh, when we won the medal, the d we we were the French team was really uh, happy, and I think uh, it was uh, nice uh, for us to feel uh, some support. And mm -hmm. And to bring medal for the friends uh, in Bennington, it's uh, always good. Mm. And, and the, the match also was in the on the TV, so yeah. there is a lot of French uh, supporters. How, how does it feel to be that TV guy and girl <laughs> from, <laughs> from your uh, I think uh, yeah, it's uh, we are happy, but uh, it's not something uh, that we put pressure on us. It was uh, like uh, normal, and we are happy to to have some friends who watch us. So yeah, and it's not normal to be on television necessarily in France playing badminton Delphine. Um, what does it mean to you and, and to Tom, of course, also, that, that we see that, okay, now badminton also make it on, on television when you guys are doing good? I think it's really good for us because uh, now the friends uh, can see us play and uh, see that we can uh, have a good result in badminton. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, uh, being on television can improve the mental in France, uh, mm -hmm. can have more support, uh, more money maybe, mm -hmm. uh, and more sponsors, so it's good for us. Mm -hmm. Tom, after European Games, uh, the World Championships, and then a few weeks, few months, where the results was not that good. They were not <coughs> that good for you guys. What happened? Uh, I don't know. I think we, after the, the World, we lost a bit of confidence. Because we played the, the second seed and mm. we don't play good and they were so too strong for us. Mm. And after maybe we, we lost our game. I think we we were not uh, bold like before. Uh, we were not uh, yeah bold and uh, we don't try to play our game. We are maybe too much passive. Mm. And uh, yeah, we, yeah. And the opponent was better than us and they play because. In uh, China, we were not we were favorite, and mm. the maybe it was the first time for us to be mm. favorite <coughs> in a tournament, tournament like this. Mm. As I think we don't, uh, yeah, we were not ready to that, mm. but now we are. Yeah, yeah, but, but Delphine in China, if you go back to China, why were you and Tom not ready to to be the favorite on top top level because mm. that was what it was. I think, uh, like Tom said, uh, we uh, we are going the in the ranking really fast, so. Mm. Uh, usually we are, we are the other dog, so it's, uh, it's uh, more easier for us to, to play like this. Mm. We have no pressure. Maybe we put a little pressure on us uh, for this first round because uh, it's a big tournament and we have a chance to win. So well, we didn't play our game because uh, we are 
bit stress, I think. Yeah. And in the year of uh, Olympics, <coughs> we know that in yeah. China there is a lot of points to, to get. Mm. And uh, yeah, this is coming uh, your man uh, in the match, so he mm. don't have to play, uh, mm. to play good. Mm. This is recorded during the Denmark Open. Uh, this is day two of the Denmark Open. On day one of Denmark Open, you won the biggest victory you ever won. Uh, what's happening tomorrow? We don't know. Yeah. Maybe you even do better tomorrow. We don't know. Uh, but you beat the world number four, former All England champion. Uh, Tom, I spoke to you after the match, but, but let's talk a bit about that match because that can also be a big, big turning point for, for you and Delphine. What is it that you are doing good now compared to what didn't work after the world championships? Yeah, uh, like I said, uh, we try to, to be bold and uh, I spoke with my family and uh, I think as I forget. I forgot a bit uh, to to take pleasure on the on the court, and uh, I tried to do it uh, yesterday, to to try something, uh, take pleasure, and uh, to to do everything I can to to beat them. Mm -hmm. And it was the okay, case. So, mm. Delphine, how how does it feel to beat a, a top top pair? These are not nobodies. These these are world class mm. players. Yeah, it's really really good because uh, we we were not. Uh, Playing good uh, last month, so for us it's a big, big victory, and uh, I think we we play uh, freely, no pressure, and uh, we play our game. And uh, it was uh, really nice to beat uh, the top pair like this because mm. uh, it's not every day for us. So mm. hopefully it will be every yeah. day for you yeah, at yeah, some yeah. point. Let's hope, cross fingers for that. Tom, you, you mentioned it in the beginning. You have been climbing. You guys have been climbing the ranking very, very fast. It's not long ago that you guys were junior players. Uh, now you are established senior players. Uh, what has the biggest changes changes been for for you and Delphine going from junior players, where you were also doing good, and now into to the senior level where you now is established? But I think uh, we did two years uh, without uh, very good results. We were uh, maybe fifties of the mm. ranking. So I think to to go to the junior after the senior, we are you have to uh, to get some experience and to to use to the the, the senior level and to be more uh, more relaxed, more uh, more uh, more clever on the court. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we take uh, two years to to underst understood that, mm -hmm. and uh, now we are we are on the senior level, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, we are confident in our game. How was those two years where you didn't perform well, Delphine? Well, I think we we performed well, but not uh, where we want to, to perform. But I think we got some result, uh, some good result, but at a lower level, mm -hmm. I think. But I think we we didn't put pressure. We think we are young, so we have time to improve. Mm -hmm. And this year we, we improve a lot, so mm -hmm. it's really good. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, Paris 2024, we'll come back to that later, <coughs> that's a big, big thing for every French player, that's that's no secret. But the first Olympics for you guys can actually be the Tokyo Games, Tom. How much do you and Delphine look at that ranking to see, are we in, are we out? Because it's actually from week to week going up and down for, for the for the last pairs here. How much are we actually looking I at I that think ranking? Uh, we try to, to don't look at it uh, so much because I think it put a lot of pressure. So there is the ranking in uh, our man, our mind, but uh, we try to be focused on the match mm. and uh, just uh, yeah, focus on what we can do on the court and uh, don't think about uh, the what there is uh, outside the game. Because uh, Tokyo is a big, big uh, thing for us. Uh, we dream uh, about that uh, all, the, all mm. of our, our life. So mm. Mm. Yeah. But that's also real sportsman talking, uh, that Tom, and, and I understand why you say it, but for instance when we see the Danes not performing, when we see the Irish pair losing in the first round where you actually go to the second round, uh, there's also a French, what about Ronan and, and Anne, are they going, are they not, are they playing, are they not? Delphine, you must look, I assume, at something saying, okay, the Irish, they bowed out early, but we got more points, so that's a good thing for us, for sure. It, it, it's almost impossible not to to be aware that Sam and Chloe lost, or the Germans lost, or the Indonesians lost, or whoever it's going to be. It must be impossible, I think. But I think we look a little, <coughs> yes, but we try to not focus on that and uh, and play our game uh, when we uh, have a match. Mm -hmm. And I think we have a, a really good start of the qualification, so we... We have a lot of points uh, 
now, so mm -hmm. I think we just want to play and uh, good. And uh, if we can uh, win some match, it's good for the ranking. Mm -hmm. But of course, we will look at the mm -hmm. result of the other, mm -hmm. and uh, we are a bit happy when they lost. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah. That's just how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's part of the game. Yeah. I'm sure that if I ask the other guys the same questions about you guys, they are not that happy that you won the first mm. round at yeah, the yeah. Super 750, for instance. Mm. So, so I assume that's just part of the game, isn't it? Yeah. 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 But uh, talk is one thing. Uh, 2024. It's five years from now. There's a long time to five years. But but that Paris game, Tom, can you, can you maybe try to, to explain a bit how big it would be for you guys to play in Paris at the Olympics? Uh, yeah, I think it's a goal of uh, life, I think, because uh, now when we knew that uh, it will be in uh, Paris, uh, all the French uh, talent in France uh, think about it, and uh, I think also uh, all the Federation and uh, the min Ministry mm -hmm. talk about uh, this for us and uh, the future, so they put some uh, thing uh, on for us, and uh, yeah. This is the the big big goal of uh, our career. Mm. Is it something that you're thinking about, like now, or is that Tokyo only, uh, or, or, or Delphine is it already Paris talks for for you and, and Tom regarding your future plans? I think this year we think uh, mostly about uh, Tokyo, yes, mm. but uh, we also want to improve to be at uh, our top form in uh, Paris. So mm. we we want to uh, to have experience and. Uh, and uh, learn uh, something this year for the, the next uh, Olympics. Mm. Yeah, for going to Tokyo, Tom, might also be an advantage uh, comparing, first of all, qualifying for, for, for Paris, but also playing the Paris Games. Yeah, I think to play in K Tokyo will be a, a huge uh, learning lesson, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be a lesson, yeah, to, to know a bit uh, what is the Olympics, because I think when it's the first time, you. Maybe there is a lot of attraction, uh, attraction mm. Mm. Uh, outside, <coughs> and uh, mm. yeah, it's good to be to do one one Olympics mm. before the Paris. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and I assume also as as young players, if you qualify for Tokyo, uh, it's not the medal talk. Uh, it, it of course on a lucky draw on a lucky day, everybody can win the medal at the Olympics, but but that might not be the first goal of yours, Delphine. I think. I think it's more about uh, getting experience uh, in the Olympics uh, in Tokyo. And uh, if we play good, we will not uh, uh, win the medal. But mm -hmm. uh, it's not the first goal, I think, if mm -hmm. we go there. Mm -hmm. Tom, um, I also told you this morning that the World Championships are also going to take place in Paris, but you didn't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, that tells me a lot, actually, because that, that's full focus on Tokyo first, Paris 2024 next. Yeah. What does it tell you that, of course, the Olympics goes to, to Paris, but also the World Championships comes back to Paris? Uh, last time was in 2010. Um, in 2025 is going to happen again. What does that tell you that, that badminton is actually coming more back to fans? Well, I think uh, the Federation uh, trusts our generation. I think we have very good results in the junior and uh, like Christo did uh, last mm -hmm. week. So I think uh, they try to, to, to put more competition uh, tournament in, uh, mm -hmm. in the <coughs> few years later for mm -hmm. us, maybe, I think. So uh, gener the new generation Mm. Generation. Generation, so <laughs> yeah. you can play at this yeah. tournament. Yeah. 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 But uh, a lot of talk about Tokyo, a lot of talk about World Championships, Paris 2024. But already in February 2020, uh, the European Men's and Women's Team mm. Championship is actually going to take place in Livon, in France. Mm. Uh, what do you think about that? I think it's a really good thing uh, to have a lot of tournaments in France. Mm. Uh, I think it uh, for the women's team we didn't uh, win a medal, so I think it will be a really good thing to win the first medal in France. Mm -hmm. uh, we are looking forward to play uh, that uh, the tournament, mm -hmm. and uh, we will enjoy this. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. How do you see the chances of uh, getting a medal for the men's team, uh, Tom? Uh, I think there is a big chance. Uh, always the singer are very good. There is a very good. Uh, there is a lot of player in single, and uh, I think we are a good uh, men's double also. There is a new with uh, Julien Mayo and Eloi. They mm -hmm. are coming very, very fast. And uh, yeah, I think we have good chance. Mm -hmm. We already did it uh, before, so mm -hmm. we can do it in France. Mm -hmm. What about the female chances? Uh, Delphine might be a bit uh, tougher than for, for the boys. Yeah, I think um, this year maybe we have a um, little more chance to to have a medal because we have a uh, chauffeur mm. with French now, so mm -hmm. 
we, we can have three uh, good singles now, so mm. and we have also two two good women the ball, so mm. I think we have a chance to to win a medal. Mm. When I look at the two of you, uh, I see two players that, of course, are performing well in the mixed doubles. Uh, you and Leia also performing well in in women's doubles. Tom, you and Ronan, that's a bit more like back and forth. Uh, yeah. where, where are you actually? That at the moment, I actually don't know. But but what are your considerations about full focus mixed doubles, or also playing the doubles as well? Do you think let's start with you? Um, <coughs> I think I'm. Uh, I'm really happy to play the the two uh, two, two, two yeah two events. So I really f I'm focused on the, the two uh, of, of the so uh, I try my best on every match and every uh, category. So mm -hmm. no difference uh, mm -hmm. because I think I uh, I have a chance in both uh, mm -hmm. events. So uh, what? Mm -hmm. Tom. Uh, for my side, I think uh, now for uh, the Japan Olympics. Uh, I'm focused only for on the mix because with Ronan we try to do uh, the qualification, but uh, we we had not the the result we're looking for. So I think now it's impossible to to go to the qualification uh, Olympics. So so uh, well now we are focused on the on the mix, and maybe after the Japan uh, Tokyo, uh, uh, we go back to the men's double. But you also feel that you can you can handle two events at the same time. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but now like uh, a tournament like this, we have uh, only uh, <coughs> one match uh, in per, per per day, so I mm. think it's okay. Mm. It's okay for me. Is it easier to to prepare? Well, oh, I assume it's easier to prepare when you only have like one category yeah. uh, compared to two. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's, it's easier. I think like uh, for Delphine, she plays at uh, eight thirty. Uh, Yesterday, so it's tough. Also, mm. uh, after my match, I can rest and uh, I can think about the next match. So mm. yeah, it's easier, mm. and uh, I can be 100% uh, uh, for the mix. Yeah. Mm. Mm. The last topic I would like to touch is actually none of you guys, uh, but that's Crystal Popov. Uh, we saw a tremendous result from Crystal <coughs> at the World Juniors, uh, runner-up. What was your first thought when you saw that Crystal, first of all, secured medal? Which is a big, big result, but actually also made it to the final. Tom, what was your first thought? It's a crazy, <laughs> crazy result. Uh, the biggest, I think, in the, the French uh, history. Yeah. Uh, we knew that uh, Christo is a big, big talent. Yeah. He already proved it uh, in senior level, but I think uh, a silver medal in the junior championship uh, told, uh, tell a lot, uh, tell a lot of uh, what he can do and he will do in the, in the future. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, big big uh, result. Yeah, to Finn, what do you call? Uh, um, with Lea, we watched the semi-final and uh, it was a uh, amazing match. Yeah, he's, he's so good, and I think uh, he can uh, he can perform well in the future in senior. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was the first ever medal at the uh, World Championship so for France, so uh, it's a big big thing. And uh, I hope there is more medal in the future mm -hmm. for. But, but it really seems like the f you, you two are what, two of the talents yourself. It seems like the, the younger generation of French players are actually performing very, very well. We saw your brother, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, Fabien, also doing very good at the junior level. Of course, they need some time to adapt to the senior, but, but what is it that French badminton Tom is doing so well right now in the youth? But I think, uh, yeah, the, the first gener generation was the Delphine one, beat mm. the, the Danish player in the U15, maybe, uh, mm -hmm. European mm -hmm. Games. So uh, now we d there is no, uh, no uh, problem to, to, to play against uh, Denmark or German. We know that we can beat everyone. So mm -hmm. I think there is uh, also uh, a lot of confidence mentally about the, the young ge generation and uh, I think the level improved a lot also mm. in, the, in the French. Uh, there is more more player in uh, every uh, every region of the France, and uh, yeah. Mm. So it's it's funny to be French at the moment, uh, Delphine. Yeah, I think it's good. Uh, we are improving a lot uh, in every uh, category. So mm. I think uh, I think we can uh, can be proud, and uh, we want to to reach a uh, result. Uh. Mm. Mm. Well, final question and the big question, Tom and Delphine. Uh, do you guys go to Tokyo? <laughs> yes, we will. Yeah. Yes, we will. 
Thank you very much for that. We're looking forward to follow the rest of the race of, uh, to Tokyo because it's going to be tight. Yeah. Uh, actually, it can be uh, settled at the European Championship in April. Uh, we never know. But the good luck in the race to Tokyo and hopefully you'll make it. And thank, thank you, you very thank much you. for watching the podcast. Thank Go you. follow these two youngsters on social media. They're actually doing a quite good job. And you can, of course, also follow us. Uh, but you already know that. Thank you very much for watching.